Hey everybody, Anne here. I went fishing and you won't believe what happens next. A different lake. Actually, these are just ponds. There's a pond over here. There's a pond over there. There's Betty. I got some worms. And they look gorgeous. Just look at these. Look how awesome those look. Gosh. I wonder if I can make a worm farm and keep it in my van. I tend to think no, unless I have some way to refrigerate them. Because, uh, you know, they need to be kept at least 75 degrees or below. So I don't know. I'll see. So I'm going to fish with some worms for a little while on my little baby pole. See my baby pole? It's got the push button. You can see this. Can you see that? If you can see it, tell me. Is that a shad or is that a bass? Or hell, I don't know. I can't see myself. Look at my first fish. <laughs> I could use that for bait. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to throw her back. I need a tripod or something. So you can just watch me catch tiny fish all day long. So cute. I don't know if you can see it. Let's get it in the light. Can you see that? I think that one's a keeper, just barely. Yeah, I can make a couple. I can just get that. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. I don't know, I think I'm gonna fry it up tonight. Right on. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Maybe, maybe it'll be big enough to eat. We'll see. I do kind of feel bad about him a little bit, but he got hooked real, real deep. I was almost inclined to throw it back, but you know, he doesn't look like he's doing too good, or she. See, some of his guts are floating around. So, you know what? I am going to go ahead and chop off its little head, take off its scales, gut it, and eat it. Yep, dinner. I mean, it's not the biggest one I've ever caught, but what the heck. At least I'm not going home empty-handed. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> look at this. Don't ask. Just <laughs> don't even ask. Little tiny baby one. I think that I will take it off the hook. I need to get a GoPro or something. I can actually get it off the hook myself. But this one is too tiny to keep. Okay, guys. Well, you know, they're all teeny tiny. <laughs> but I'm catching them. I'm probably catching the same one over and over again. Look at that. Whatever. I had to stop fishing for a little bit here because I hooked my dog. Let's see. I can't get her to stop moving long enough. You can barely even see it. Let's see. It is right by her eye. Look at my thumb. <laughs> I've got dirt underneath of there. It's, just trust me. It went all the way through. The only way I could get it out <clears throat> was to basically rip it out because my little wire clippers are dull. And I almost started crying, but she did fine. It took me about 20 minutes to get it out, but it was right by her eye. It's like right in the area. I don't know if you can see it. She's such a good dog. I went away from the little pond I was at. I don't know if I need to be excited or horrified. So I was walking out, and there had been this guy who had been fishing all day long. This is going to be boring footage. Um, I don't know what else to film right now, but anyhow. Um, so there's this guy that had been fishing there all day, and um, we were like on opposite sides of the pond. And so when I was getting ready to leave, because, well, I almost blinded my dog with a fish hook. More on that later. Um, but anyhow, um, so I started packing up, and he kind of gets up from his spots and move and moved to a different spot. Well, when I'm walking out, he says, hey, you know, uh, well, we talked for a little bit, talked about that uh, I had to remove a fish hook from Betty's head just by her eyeball, um, and then talked about the fish that I caught, and then talked about blah, 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 um, and then I was getting ready, and he said, hey, hey, can I take you to dinner? And I'm like, what? I'm like, dude, dude, I'm 54 years old. Okay, so now y'all know. I'm 54. Yeah, I've got gray hair. Um, I went gray prematurely, just so y'all know. 
Phew, I don't even know where to drive to right now. Um, so, so I'm like, what? He goes, I like, I, I need a woman like you. Um, I'm like, well, look at me, because I'm not that much to look at, to be honest with you. Whew, at least I don't think I am. And he kind of looked me up and down. He says, I like the way you look. <laughs> so he's 39, and his name is Josh. I don't know, guys. I did give him my number. Probably not a good idea, but it, I met it. I didn't. It's not like I met him at a bar. I met him at the lake. Alrighty. Okay. It's been a weird day. I'll tell you all about it in a minute. Okay. Well, I'm in the van. It is kind of late at night. It's dark. I'm just parked. I'm parked at one of my favorite spots. And uh, yeah, so it was a fun day. I went fishing. It wasn't fun when I basically almost blinded my dog. But oh my God, I was so proud of myself that I was able just to stay calm and do what needed to be done because there was nobody there. I mean, there were some people there, but they all seemed kind of afraid of Betty. So I was able to get the fish hook out. She's none the worse for wear. I had some wet naps on me. I was able to get her cleaned off real good. And uh, so she seems to be pretty good. But anyhow, about this guy who just out of the blue asked me to dinner. It was like, it's just weird. I don't put myself out there as far as dating goes, you know. As far as I'm concerned, I'm never going to get married again. But when, I mean, I had walked probably 20 paces away from him. And then he just shouts out, you want to go to dinner? And I'm like, except in a lower voice. <laughs> um, and I was like, mm, there's my foot, by the way. Ain't it sexy? Anyway, um, so I was surprised. I was like, What? I, I mean, I like I said, I don't put myself out there for dating. I don't hang out at bars. I don't try to meet men. I'm just kind of like at a really quiet, happy part of my life right now. And um, I don't really think about coupling. You know what I mean? But I turned around. You know, well, first of all, the first thing that attracted me, or not really attracted me, but that I noticed about the guy was his beard. He's got this big, full beard. <laughs> <laughs> love them, love them, love them. And yeah, it's a nice big beard, you know, and some it is not easy to grow a nice big full beard. Yeah, it's it's not the easiest thing in the whole world to do for some guys. Um, but the fact that he's only 39, I don't know what it is. I don't understand it. I do not understand it why guys my own age, I don't know what it is. They never seem to gravitate towards me. But the younger guys do in their 30s, yes. You know, I had kind of made a pact that, you know, I would never date a guy under 42. But 39, oh, God, that's so close. I don't know. You know what? Oh, 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 and here's the thing. He called me back, but I didn't get the call. I don't know what I was doing. I mean, I was in my van. I didn't hear the phone ring. No, I just, I just think that the, uh, it didn't ring. I think it just went through straight to voicemail. I don't know why. Maybe the, oh, I turned my phone off for a little while. That's probably why. Well, anyhow, he left me this really, really lovely message. And he wanted to take me to get some ice cream. <laughs> that is so sweet. But anyhow, yeah, he just kept saying, you know what? I, I, I will, I've been wanting to meet a, a woman like you. And I'm like, what? You know, I, I'm in these dirty old jeans that I had rolled up so they look like shorts, okay? And then I have this big baggy t-shirt. I think it's probably even a men's t-shirt. It was a big baggy t-shirt. I had been wiping worm juice all over my pants all day. I had dirt underneath my fingernails. My hair was all messy. Um, I, w I mean, I had no makeup on. I hate makeup, by the way. You know, I even took my glasses off, my sunglasses, and well, I wear glasses. I wear prescription glasses too. And I was like, "Look at me! You want to take me to dinner?" <laughs> it's like, "Yeah, I like the way you look." So that was kind of unexpected, to tell you the truth. So I don't know. I don't know. I didn't even think he'd really call me back to tell you the truth. After I told him I was 54, I figured he was just being polite. But I don't know what it is with these young dudes. Maybe they're looking for a mother figure. Who knows? Well, it's just dinner, so. I don't know. I'll keep you updated. Um, yeah, so it's been a fun day. I worked a little bit. I gotta get some work done on the van. I just don't have the money for it right now. 
Um, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. One of the calipers, I think one or both, probably. I think one of the calipers is sticking. And it gets stuck. I mean, it comes undone, but it's sticking. And eventually it's going to seize up on me. So, I mean, completely. Seriously, you, you just don't want to drive your, your van or your vehicle with a seized caliper. Oh, no. No, no, no. Puts too much strain, strain on the transmission. Um... So, I need to take it in. I just got a few things, a few uh, few work things I've got to do tomorrow. And then I'm going to take it into this shop I normally take it to. Um, <laughs> these poor guys, I swear. Every time I come in, it's like, oh my god, here she is with another one of her shitty vehicles. <laughs> what are we going to have to do this time to it? But, um, they've been pretty decent with me. Pretty decent. And little things they... They've helped me out with free of charge, so um, I'm prepared to, to give them some more of my money. You know, if I can get this girl fixed up, don't have to worry about any of the sounds that are going on with the wheels, because I'm pretty sure it is a stuck caliper. And um, you know what? I've been right about everything else about this van. Sometimes I don't know specifically what it is, but I know kind of like generally speaking what it is, and um, I've always been right. Anyhow, so, um, well, I'm going to go ahead and go to bed. It's late, it's late, it's late. And, uh, oh, you can't see Betty. It's too dark. She's over there snoring. Um, well, you know what? Thanks for watching. I hope you didn't mind me, like, rambling on about stuff. And, um, good night, everybody. Y'all have a good one.